<clears throat> uh, is this thing on? Wow, how's it going, you cool people? I'm G Hub, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to Variety, something different. We're sitting in a completely different room. You've never seen this before. So, anyway, what's new with you? I hope you're all doing well. As you um, have clearly seen, I haven't uploaded in a long time. Don't worry, though, this isn't one of those videos where the YouTuber just goes on and on about how oh, sorry, guys, I haven't uploaded in such a long time. Please don't unsubscribe please don't dislike the video i just wanted to sit down and do something because like i've had some tumultuous months recently and i feel like i've just sort of got out of the habit of actually doing anything if you don't follow me on twitter which if you hadn't haven't watched the previous video i pretty much forced you to do so please go watch that video watch the intro and watch me complain about people not following me on twitter and then go follow me on Twitter. Um, I was sick for a, I don't know how long I've been sick for now. I've been like officially sick for a month. Uh, not sick anymore. I'm still on, uh, what's it called? Uh, what the frick is it called? Penicillin antibiotics? Yes. I'm going to get into that story. Sorry if I'm lisping, by the way. Yeah, boy has braces and they tightened them two days ago. Sh changes. I start to lisp, then it goes away. And then they change stuff again. And then I lisp again. Yeah, two months ago, literally right after I uploaded the DLC tier list video, which, w go watch that as well. There's a lot of sh you need to get caught up on, okay? It's so annoying. Every video I upload, people are always like, welcome back, Jihab! You've been gone for like two years! And I'm like, no! I've been uploading this year! And I guess the, the other videos just don't reach people, but go watch the DLC tier list video, okay? It's very funny. Anyway, so right after that, I don't know what happened. Yeah, boy likes to go to the gym. I like to get to pump that iron. And whenever I'm like done with a workout, I always feel great. I'm always like, yeah, oh, that, that felt great. That was amazing. amazing. Then suddenly I just felt like I could exercise for like five minutes. And I was like, oh God, this is, this is actually like getting to me, which was very weird. I just, I thought it was like pollen allergy or something. So I started taking pollen allergy meds and that didn't work. I just felt more tired. I was like, oh wait, maybe the pills are making me more tired. So I was like, no, I'll try this. Uh, a drop thing, eye drop thing that you drop in your eye. And, and that like didn't really do anything. I was like, what the hell's going on? At that point, I was so exhausted. So I was like, maybe it's COVID. No, I just laid in bed all day. No cold symptoms though. I had already taken two COVID tests. We, in Sweden, you can like order them to your place. You have to like stick this big thing into your mouth, like swirl it around up there, which is super great by the way. And not only do you do that, then you have to shove it up your nose. And I had to do that twice. Uh, I think I've done that test five times now. So yeah, boy tries to stay safe. You have to do hard things to get through hard times. Um, but... <laughs> I don't know what this video is. I, I've had this issue for a while now where like my glands here, right, will start swelling up for I don't know what reason. If I eat something really sweet, they'll just swell up and I'm like, okay. But they started swelling up a lot recently. I, it wasn't like for any particular reason, right? They would just swell up. So I'm like, I have to be sick, right? I called into like my healthcare center. I was like, yeah, my glands are swelling up and I feel really bad. They're like, uh, well, if your glands haven't been swollen for like a week, then uh, there shouldn't be a problem. Just rest and call back later. And I was like dying, dude. I'm like lying here completely exhausted. I have no idea what's going on. And I'm just like, bro. I rest for a few days. Uh, it only really gets worse. I call back and they somehow managed to get me a time within a few days. The woman I was talking to was like, well, it'll probably take a few weeks. And I'm like, Ugh. it only took a few days, which I, I, I guess she must have done something. If she did, if... She's somehow watching this video. Thank you so much. Here in Sweden, we can actually call somewhere if we're sick and actually go places if we feel sick without being like crushed by the inevitable like huge bill that's gonna come afterwards. So yeah, I get to go there. I get to see this doctor. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna take this stereoscope and listen to you. This is a really crappy stereoscope, but I can clearly hear that there's something wrong with your lungs. My lungs? What? And I guess the day before I like started feeling this like heavy, it's like a weight on my chest. And I was like, what the hell is this? Am I getting like cramps or something? And he was like, oh yeah, it sounds like it's gonna stop anytime soon. So I was like, that's awesome. I can get back to actually being a person again. Yeah, then I go home and this was on a Thursday. Friday comes around, I'm like, I'm feeling better. This man was right. Saturday comes around, I'm like, dude, I feel great now. I, and not great, great, but I felt much better. Sunday hits. I, dude, I don't know what happened. I like die on Sunday. Sunday just hits me 
like that inevitable bill, except I didn't have to pay anything. I had to pay with my, my health. I don't know, my glands swell up to like the point where I don't even have a jawline anymore. I look super swollen around this area. Like there's a little literal ball just sticking out here. And I'm like, this is horrible. Not only did it hurt, but it just messed with me hormonally. I literally turned into like a teenager again. I'm still sitting there like, I have no idea what's going on, man. And it's so weird. We're so used to like knowing what's happening with our body, right? Like you go to a doctor and he's like, oh yes, you have this disease. But no one could tell me what was happening. So I was freaking out. I call this like, it's not really an emergency center here. It's like a place you go to if you're sick and it's a weekend or the evening. And they, I got a time there straight away, which was nice. I had to stay in like a two hour phone line though. Imagine you're like dying and you have to sit in a phone line. <laughs> I go to that place and the, the guy like, uh, so it starts, it was so weird. I was in this hospital and here's a picture from there, by the way, because my mom came with me and she took this picture from outside. Uh, so that's me inside the hospital. So I sit in there and this dude comes in, he asks me some questions and then he's like, okay, I'll be right back. And then he leaves. And then I just sit in there for like 15 minutes. I'm just like, what the hell's going on? Like I'm imagining all the worst shit that he's like, oh God, these symptoms are terrible. This is a rare unheard of disease. We have to do some serious like, quarantine shit. I don't know, just weird thoughts were going through my head. And then this doctor comes in, like now, before it was a nurse, uh, now it's a doctor. And he's like, hello, hello, asking me some questions as well. Cause the other guy hadn't briefed him. So it's was like, I have to explain it again. Then the nurse comes back in, shoves a COVID test in my mouth. And it's like, it's just the sixth time I'm doing this test now. Then they, I think they took like a blood test. Then that was it. He prescribed me some antibiotics and he's like, I don't know what you have. We're gonna treat it like there's something wrong with your throat. I'm sitting there still so confused. Cause I'm still, I still don't know what's wrong with me. I, I was kind of freaking out, but I've been on these antibiotics now for a few days. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling a lot better. No swollen glands, no tiredness. So this is the last day I'm taking them when I'm recording this. So um, I'm feeling a lot better because it was so weird. And I'd say a week or two before I actually started having the symptoms of being really tired. I was like super super depressed. I'm, I'm not even joking. I don't know what happened, but it was like, it was like being back in 2019 all over again. I was so, I literally felt dead inside. It was just such a weird experience. I even went and got myself a psychologist because I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna let 2019 happen again. So I got help straight away. Uh, and I've been talking to a psychologist over an app and he's amazing. If you have the ability to get a therapist, please, even if you're not sick, just do it. It is amazing. If you find someone that, that works for you, it is a 10 out of 10 experience. It is so good. You really get to know yourself somehow. I like to think that I am pretty nice to myself, right? But my psychologist can point shit out where I'm like talking down to myself, like inadvertently through just how I say certain things. And it's just like, wow, I can see when other people do that, but I had no idea I did that. And it was so weird. Yeah, that's been really nice uh, talking to him. He's been super helpful, very insightful. Partly, I guess, why I'm sitting here right now, because I'm actually, you know, wanting to do stuff, which is the primary goal of seeing a psychologist so you can go do more work. I have been thinking a lot recently about, like, working hours and stuff, and I just... Uh, Am I, am I the only one that gets tired of all these posts where people are like, I'm on the grind, boys, we back in the business. Oh, I just get so sad when I see people think that all there is to life is just working, right? They're like, I worked a hundred hours this week. <laughs> it's like, that's horrible. You shouldn't have to do that. Um, so that, but that's <laughs> in other news. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go live. I actually have a really funny idea for a video. I kind of teased in my previous tier list video, I guess it was a tier list video, that I would do like something related to the language of the game, right? But um, I don't think I'm actually gonna make that video because watching it over and trying to edit that thing, I just don't know if it's funny enough. I don't know if I can show any footage here. I might have something up here, but literally the whole thing is just me listening to the announcer say character names in different languages and that's it, right? There's no face cam and I'm just sort of showing the game where the characters are standing still for some reason. Maybe it was a bad way of recording it for me, but I think I'm actually just gonna skip that video. I might do something with it in the future, but honestly, I have way better ideas and I wanna try something new because man, as much as I love making videos, just sticking to the regular old rate the characters based on thing is getting real boring. I need to spice things up for myself and for you as well. It's really weird because I feel like I had this moment, like I guess it's like a month ago now, where I went down this like ment- it was almost like a mental breakdown, but like over a few weeks. And this was 
the, the period I described before, like right before I actually got sick. So I guess it must have been related to that somehow. But I saw this documentary, uh, not doc I don't know if it classifies as a documentary, but it's like edited like one. Uh, and it's by this dude who I can't remember his name right now, but I'm sure I can find the video again and I will link to that because it's a good video. I think I even posted it on my Twitter, so I'll be able to find it, e find it easily. Um, but it was about like the fitness industry, how toxic it is and how, how people, you know, get manipulated into believing that all, the, all these celebrities, they just look like that because they work really hard and they just eat chicken, broccoli and rice. Sorry if I'm going on a rant here. It's just, I get like a lot of questions regarding fitness and stuff. It just hurts because I know before I started going to the gym that I wanted to look like, you know, oh, wow, I want to be big boy. Yeah. And all these guys, of course, are being like, yeah, I'm natural, bro. Of course I'm natural. I get so triggered when I even talk about this stuff. I get so angry. The amount of damage these people do, I I understand this now because I don't feel self-conscious about myself anymore. And it's not just because I got like buff. It's because like when I started exercising, I started really enjoying it. I realized that like, I'm just proud of my own achievements, even if I don't look like that. I will always encourage people to go to the gym, but you have to go there for yourself and to because you enjoy it, right? Of course, it's always hard at the, the, the start. I literally had to like cry myself out of bed to even go there consistently. It was really hard. So I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying when you actually do it and we actually get going it just feels really good and really nice and i think the problem is a lot of people exercise because they want to look like this and that's not realistic and it's like it's just a cycle of butt like actual sh sh i don't know why i really like making these videos where i just sit down and talk uh, i should do this more because most most of the time it's like an update video which i guess today was still as well but it's like things on my mind if you want to see more ghab just sitting in front of a camera and talking leave a comment letting me know smack the like button smack the bell the dingly dong thank you for watching this video there will be other videos you can click on on the screen right now hopefully my camera has been focused this whole time it hasn't blurred out completely uh, hopefully the lighting's been good but you know i shouldn't have to worry about that stuff because what counts in the end is the message that comes from my heart so take care i love you and i'll see you in the next video peace <laughs>